This is a map of the world, and these are the specific countries in this world that have given millions to the Clinton Foundation over the years. 10 to 25 million from Australia, Norway, and Saudi Arabia. 5 to 10 million from the Netherlands and Kuwait. Between 1 and 5 million from Oman, the United Arab Emirates, and Brunei. And it's not just countries. Individual foreign donors and foreign groups make up a huge share of donations to the Clinton Foundation. The campaign now says if Hillary Clinton becomes president, any foreign donations like these will no longer be accepted. CNN's Dana Bash asked Hillary Clinton's campaign right manager, why wait? Why not do it now? Why wait until uh, the idea of, of her being president? Why not do it when she is running for president? Well, the foundation is doing an enormous amount of work, and it takes time uh, when you're in a, a number of countries around the world to retool, refocus the mission, uh, and, and adapt. At the heart of the issue is conflict of interest, or even the appearance of one. Namely, would a President Clinton give favorable treatment to a country or a company or a person who donated millions of dollars to the foundation? That's how Donald Trump sees it. They've made hundreds of millions of dollars selling access, selling favors, selling government contracts, and I mean hundreds of millions of dollars. Despite that claim, there are no definitive examples of what Trump says. But that doesn't mean there aren't questions, like longtime Bill Clinton pal and mining magnet Frank Joustra. Joustra's foundations have given more than $50 million to the Clinton Foundation. He's allowed Bill Clinton use of his private jet. And when a company he founded merged with another that became part of a Russian business deal that needed government approval, that deal got the OK from the State Department run by Hillary Clinton. Juster says he sold his stakes in the company years before the Russian deal. So anything wrong? No. All above board, says the State Department. Other government agencies approved the deal. All the rules were followed as they were in all cases involving Monsanto. The food giant has donated between one and five million dollars to the Clinton Foundation, and it has had multiple partnership projects with the Clinton Global Initiative. In 2009, when Hillary Clinton took office as Secretary of State, Monsanto was actively lobbying the State Department for helping promote and open markets for its bioagricultural projects across the globe. And it all coincided with Secretary Clinton's global policy to promote agricultural biotechnology. According to Clinton, she was promoting U.S. agriculture, and especially the U.S. farmer, much like her Republican predecessor did. But there is no doubt one of the big winners was the big agricultural giant and Clinton Foundation donor, Monsanto. Hoping to put the potential pay-to-play allegations, especially with foreign donations, to an end, it was Bill Clinton who tweeted this afternoon, if Hillary becomes president, the foundation will only take in money from U.S. citizens, permanent residents, and U.S.-based independent foundations. And the Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea Clinton Foundation will change its name to just the Clinton Foundation. In other words, no Hillary. And Carol, if his wife is elected, Bill Clinton says he's also going to step down from the board of the Clinton Foundation, and he will not personally fundraise for it.